Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to try something very different. It is going to be a bit noisy because there's a thunderstorm going on outside. It's actually very pretty to watch, but you can't see anything. So let's just focus in on this video. Today I wanted to film a video that is a bit off of my comfort zone and it's called The Best and Worst Purchases I Have Ever Made. So today you're gonna see some new things about me. <laughs> so I guess let's just get started. So the first purchase that I deem to be one of the best purchases, you're gonna see a very girly version of me in this video. So these are the earrings, let me try to focus. Alright, okay, yes. These are some earrings that I got on sale. One of the best purchases to me because when we attend events and there are heaps of weddings nowadays, I'm turning 28 this year at the end of the year and basically everyone's getting married so it's always nice as a girl to have a pair of fancy earrings in store. So these are great, I got them on sale as I mentioned and I believe I paid 150 ringgit to 200 ringgit, great buy. Next best purchase I made, this was last year actually, I bought this mini Manfrotto tripod and it has been super helpful in everything that I've been doing on YouTube. Um, the first few videos that I made was actually with the help of this and there's also like a a universal clamp that hold or that held my iPhone. Now I use the same mini tripod with my camera. Today I'm filming on the taller tripod so that's what you're currently sitting on so sorry about the thunder. But yeah this has been super helpful. I like it because it didn't cost me that much money. I think it was less than 70 ringgit and you can kind of swivel this around and lock it in place. Kind of sturdy. Very good buy. Okay, the next best purchase. You want to see the best? You want to see like a intermingling? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's do worst purchases. I'm gonna disclaimer here. I used to really like shopping, so you're gonna see a lot of a lot of shopping related items. So here are my beautiful flats. They were the worst purchase to me because okay, they're from Zara. And you can see these are like inserts but yeah they're one of my worst purchases because I can't wear them. My feet are way too small. I'm a size 34 so I'm gonna do something really weird. I'm gonna show you my feet. So yeah <laughs> that is my feet size. <laughs> I can't tell by that but I'm a size 34 and these are a size, I don't know what this size is. 35? 36. So obviously I wouldn't be able to wear them, but I bought them anyway because they were very cute, very pointed, very up my alley, glittery as well. But just couldn't wear them. So hence, they are the worst purchase I've made for footwear. And they cost me, say, 200 ringgit. Okay, that looks really ugly. I'm gonna fix that later. Okay, so this is how my flats look like on much toe cleavage yeah they look pretty good okay i'm gonna show you a little ootsd there but here's the problem if you look really close it doesn't fit it doesn't fit well and you know when flats are not well fitted they don't grip so hence worst purchase i've made or one of them. Don't mind me, I'm just switching on my aircon. Something happened. Oh. Aircon trip. That's okay. I'll fix that later. Alright. So let's continue. Mm, the next best purchase that I made was this. It was with my own money. If you are into designer, this is actually a Balenciaga city bag. I don't know what size this is, but this is like the popular size where you can fit anything in. And if you can tell, this is not really a navy, but this is like a dark grey with the gold studding hardware. And it's a shoulder bag, so you kind of carry it like this. 
or you can carry it like this, however you want, right? So this is a very versatile bag and this is one of my best purchases. It was very expensive at the time. I wasn't earning enough money to afford this bag in terms of one month salary, but I bought it anyway. This was my first purchase one month into working. So it was very rash, but I had saved some money. At the time, I wasn't practicing the bucket system, but I really like this bag and I wanted to treat myself. So yeah, if you see me using this bag, I'm very proud of it because I bought it with my own money. But I'm not telling you to go out and spend on designer bags. I'm just saying if you want something really bad, you can work towards it and if it really really means a lot to you, then go get it. I'm not judging because I did the same thing. Okay, worst purchases. Alright, so this one. So I'll do a cutaway. I'll try to do a cutaway. I know like fashion YouTubers do it all the time. So this is a jumpsuit. It's white and it's a peplum. And it is like a pen style jumpsuit. And it goes all the way down there. It's very long, right? So it looks very nice. It's from the brand Love Bonito. Good. All right, there you go. And it still has a tag on and everything. So I really like the Love Bonito brand. But for this particular jumpsuit, it just didn't fit in the right place and it looked really awkward. So one of the worst purchases I've made, I think this was close to 200 ringgit and I've never worn it. And I gave it to my sister, I think a year ago and <laughs> she's not worn it. So it's quite a bad purchase in my opinion. It just happens, you know, when you shop too much, that's what happens. Okay. Best purchases. So this one is actually a bed set from Akemi Muchi. So this is just a pillowcase. But what I really like about it is it's very soft and it came as like a quilt cover, two pillowcases, bed sheet and a bolster cover. But I don't use bolsters in my room. So I really liked it because it was on a huge massive sale. I think I had an Instagram post. I will put it right here. It was like a gigantic discount and I think I paid 200 to 300 ringgit for the entire set and it's been you know one of my favorite bed sheets to sleep on. It's very important to have like good bedding because you spend so much time sleeping so if you want to invest in something invest in what you sleep in or sleep on. That's just my opinion. Like, that's important to me. May not matter to you. Okay. And the last one, the last best purchase that I've ever made would be on my education. So if you have been noticing anything about this channel, invest first in ourselves is everywhere. It's on the cover, it's on the end screen of our videos. And investing first in ourselves is something that means a lot to me because this is something that we really underestimate a lot of the time when we want to get better at a skill or feel better, we need to invest the time and the effort into ourselves and our education. So I learned how to invest in the stock market through this company called Ixis Tracker. And my dog is in my room. I have a visitor. Hang on, let me go show you her. Taylor. This is my doggo. This is Taylor. Hi Taylor. I don't, don't lick me. And she is a French bulldog. Yeah, so my sister just let her into my room and closed the door. Okay, you smell a bit stinky. You smell a bit stinky. It's time to showers. Okay, I'll put you outside first. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I really love my dog. So it's actually the family dog. Uh, actually, it's my sister's dog. She really loves. Frenchies and she finally got one and yeah motherhood is really tough for her <laughs> and for me as well so we co-share her in a way between all of the siblings and yeah having Taylor has been really really nice and really fun but let's get back to the video so equities tracker so <laughs> I didn't know how else to represent it but these are the books 
when I went through the program and there are a couple of different classes that I attended. I think there are a bunch of them, like four. Four levels and each of them were two to three days each. So it took me about a year or a bit less than a year to finish the entire course. And it's the best purchase that I've ever spent. Best money I've ever spent actually. And it cost me somewhere between 10,000 to 20,000 ringgit to do the course but I paid in installments and they gave me a really good deal and it was really hard to pay the installments every month you know coming up directly from my paycheck so much money right but I made the money back and I now have a skill that I can take with me for the rest of my life and is actually the reason why Su Yin Ong as a YouTube channel exists because I have a story to share about investing, about money, about wanting to improve on a personal level. So yeah, I am very grateful for Equity Tracker and my choice to actually invest first in myself. So yeah, I think that is it for this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. It's something different. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below and remember to subscribe and like the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!